Yeah. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is JD, and make sure you guys are subscribed down below. For today's video, I am doing a braces 101 video. So like things you would need to know before you get braces or things that could help you if you have braces. So I'm gonna get started. I asked you guys over my Instagram to ask me a couple questions. If you had any, if you have braces, or if you are getting braces, so I'm just going to start with those so I'm like not repeating myself throughout the video. So if you see me looking away, I'm looking at my phone. The first one is what can you eat and not eat? So the things that I would recommend you to stay away from are like chewy stuff. And I'm sure your orthodontist probably said that to you. So like Laffy Taffy, Caramel, um, Skittles. What else? Starburst, licorice, stuff like that. And they also tell you to stay away from popcorn. But I had popcorn when I had braces on and I was fine. So do with that information what you will. <laughs> the next question is, is wax good to use? I personally think that it's not just because it doesn't stick as good as like what they make it sound like it will, if that makes any sense. Um, I would always use it and it would always like fall off and it's so gross to like have to take out before you eat anything. So I would say wax is a no, but your first um, couple days of having braces, your teeth are really gonna like be sore and like you're not used to like the metal in your mouth. So I would at least give it a try. Everyone's different with how they like use things. So give it a try, see if it works for you. But for me personally, it did not work how I thought it was going to. The next question is, can you have any gum? I think what my orthodontist told me is that like, I can have gum, but it had to be like sugar free so like it wouldn't stick onto my bracket. So like no like hubba bubba or like juicy fruit gum if like, I think that's what it's called. Um, so none of that type of gum, but sugar free gum I think is what they say to, to chew if you chew gum. The next question is, favorite braces colors? So I, would do like the light colors so like pink like i think it was literally called bubblegum pink um lilac aqua and then i did teal which was a darker color which i really liked that color actually um, i stayed with like tried to stick with light colors just because i feel like it makes your teeth look whiter too but those are my favorites i didn't really venture out with other colors besides those ones the next and last question that i got was did it hurt getting them taken off no, it did not hurt getting them taken off. The only thing that was kind of like scary was that they had to like turn your bracket and it had to like break the bond with the glue. So that one sounded like it was literally my teeth, my tooth cracking, but it wasn't. It was just the glue. And then the only thing that kind of hurt just like a little bit was when they went and like had to get the glue off of my teeth and they would hit like my gums. My gums were so swollen. When I got my braces taken off, which is normal, they said that's, they said that's 100% normal. Um, but it would just kind of hurt like when they would get the glue off. So, those are all the questions I got. Now I'm going to go onto my little card of tips that I have written down. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So the first one being is to wear your rubber bands if you have to wear rubber bands for either an underbite or an overbite and make sure you are wearing them correctly. This is going to get you to get your braces off as soon as you possibly can. You wear them all the time except for when you are eating and brushing your teeth. There was a kid in my like orthodontist office and the orthodontist knew that he wasn't wearing his rubber bands, they can tell, and he literally said to him if you don't start wearing your rubber bands like you're not gonna get your braces off as soon as you think like we're gonna have to move your removal date back so braid rubber bands all the time so the next tip or trick thing that I have is to get a water pick um, water picks are so 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 handy especially when it comes to like getting food out of your teeth because food gets stuck like in between like your wires especially bread um, I feel like bread got stuck in my wires a lot um, bread and like pork chops and like meat and stuff got stuck so a water pick is just like water it's like a water like a high pressure water thing so you literally just fill let me let me grab mine okay so this is what my water pick looks like it's literally just like a water pick um so you fill it up with water down here and then you turn it on and it just like you go and you run it across across your teeth and it shoots water out of it and then it gets like everything out of there and this also doubles as a flosser which comes in handy because flossing with braces 
it's so extremely hard it's so time consuming and I would never floss so I would just use this and it was life changing so highly recommend getting and investing into a water pick if you have braces the next thing that i have on my list is putting on chapstick before an appointment because they are just in your mouth and like stretching and taking off wires and bands and a whole mess so after every single appointment my lips would be so freaking chapped so if you put on chapstick just like 10 or 15 minutes before you go in your lips will thank you. The next thing that I have is power chains. And if you have power chains or if you've had power chains before, you know that power chains are rough. They aren't like the single bands. They are chained. So it's all chained together. They chain your teeth and that what that's what brings them in fast, I guess. Um, I had power chains from like my third appointment on. So I had power chains for most of my braces. Um, that first time I got them, it was it was rough. After a while, I just got used to it. The pain isn't like terrible. Um, I know that first couple times that I went and got my wires tightened, I was like miserable. I couldn't like eat anything besides like soft foods. With pain, I would recommend you to take Tylenol about 30 minutes before an appointment, um, just so that way it know like it can start like getting into your system and like by the time like you get your wires tightened, it's not like as bad. And then I also recommend eating like cold food because cold food relieves like the wire pressure because the wires are like heat um, activated, I think is what they are. Um, so it, the, the heat of your mouth makes them like just stay hot, and, like moving your teeth. Um, so I would like either drink like just cold water or like cold juice or like cold anything cold So like applesauce jello ice cream was a big one that I would eat all the time because one I love ice cream too It doubled as like a pain reliever um, and then some other foods that I would eat when I would get my wires tightened were like rice mashed potatoes um, mac and cheese just like super soft foods that weren't too hard to chew because your teeth are going to hurt and it it, it's gonna hurt it's nothing like you won't like be able to bear if that makes sense just make sure you're taking Tylenol and you'll be okay the last thing that I have for this video is to wear your retainers when you get your braces off you went through all that pain and your parents or you spent all that money to get your teeth pretty and perfect just for them to go back to how they were because you didn't wear your retainers. So when I got my braces off, I got them off December like 22nd I think or one of those days and I had to wear my retainers full time for four weeks and then now I only have to wear them at night which is nice because retainers, they're annoying but they're there to keep your teeth in place so please wear your retainers when you get your braces off because you want your teeth to stay as pretty as they are when you get your braces off and then if you ever have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to your orthodontist because they're there to help you and they're there to make sure that your teeth stay perfect so that is going to be it for this video you guys i hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up leave me some comments down below if you have any more questions that on things that like I didn't touch in the video don't hesitate to ask them down below I will do my best to answer them for you guys and if you're new make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys on Saturday bye guys